neighboring Kenya, South Sudanese, uh, South Sudanese there are now being prote protected in refugee camps. VOA's Caroline Turner has more. The Kakuma refugee camp is located in Kenya's Great Rift Valley. The crowded camp is home to over 60,000 refugees. Many who live here came to escape fighting in their home countries. But about 400 refugees here worry about their safety, so they live under a protected section. Susan Duco lives in the protection area. She's originally from South Sudan and says that her father was a soldier in the Northern Army and was killed right before her eyes by Southern forces. After she was beaten, raped, and accused of being a traitor, she fled across the border. I will never go back to Sudan because my dad was slaughtered there as I witnessed. Secondly, they say my dad was working with the Arabs who were against them. People of different nationalities and faiths are required to sign a code of conduct. Karen Baitak is with UNHCR. The protection area is an isolated area. It's an area which has been designed by the UNHCR to accommodate persons facing imminent insecurity in the camp from the communities where they have been placed. This is an area located near a police station. It is an area which is uh, manned by security. Duco's son, Serbet Emmanuel, shares his mother's sentiments. And I don't, I don't want, even I don't want to call myself Sudanese. So I, I lived here and I will not go back. I will stay here with my mom. When South Sudan marked its historic independence last year from the north, many celebrated, but nationals at the camp's protection area, like Susan, were not moved. Yes, Sudan is now independent and peaceful. It's them who will enjoy it, not me. I will die here. Like many refugees, Duco says she hopes she and her children can be resettled in South Africa or Europe one day and get a chance to rebuild their lives without fear. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.